Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Melee PCG03, which is basically a small Windows desktop computer. It measures about 6 inches across, 4 inches wide, 1.5 inches high. It has an Intel Atom Bay Trail quad core processor, an Atom Z3735F, 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, 802.11bgn Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.0. VGA and HDMI ports, there's a power jack, Ethernet for a 10 by 100 Ethernet, two USB 2.0 ports, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, one more USB ports for a total of three, an SD card slot, and a power button, and that's about it. On the bottom, uh, you'll see a little bit of uh, a couple of vents here, but there are no fans inside the case, so it's a small fanless computer. It's a little bit wider than a typical Intel NUC or Nook computer, uh, it's a little bit bigger than uh, some other mini computers, but smaller than a full-size desktop uh, by far. You can see it's got an adjustable antenna on here. And my only real uh, complaint, uh, given the, the givens, I guess, is that the Wi-Fi performance can be a little spotty. I'm up here in the, my third floor office, the router's down on the first floor, and when I'm using it on this table over here, uh, I haven't had any problems with Wi-Fi performance, but it's dropped out a little bit when I tried moving it over to my standing desk, which is just a couple of feet away. Um, so your performance is probably going to be better if you're closer to the router or if you use the Ethernet connection. Uh, let's go ahead and plug it in. First, let's, let me show you the uh, power adapter. It's kind of uh, bulky for a smartphone-style adapter, but small for a PC or a, or a uh, laptop-style adapter. So you just go ahead and plug that right in. Hook this up. And I'm going to plug in display, keyboard, and mouse. Now, if you had a wireless game controller or um, remote control, you can use those as well. So let's turn on the TV, turn on power, and bring over that keyboard. So it's got a, a processor similar to what you would find in an inexpensive Windows tablet. Uh, this device sells for about $150 to $200, which actually makes it more expensive than some entry-level Windows tablets, but uh, good luck finding one that actually has all of the same features as this. I'm just going to sort of point to the midpoint here while I enter my Windows password. And enter it again, this time correctly. And you can see that we've got Windows up and running here. Uh, so it's the full Windows operating system. We've got the start screen applications. But we can also go into desktop mode. And from desktop mode, uh, there's a lot of interesting things you can do. So it comes with Internet Explorer, but you can also go ahead and load up Google Chrome or other applications while that's running in the background. I'm not going to log into LastPass. Uh, let's go ahead and... Open a web page, open a second web page. Watch some video. I'm a photographer, illustrator, and cat lover. So you can see we've got some multitasking. It's not the fastest uh, machine in terms of loading web content, but you can do two applications side by side. We've got a 1080p display here, and uh, you can also run applications or run video in full screen. In terms of video playback, if you wanted to use this to, uh, for instance, work as a uh, Media Center style PC, it can handle 1080p video. Anything higher resolution than that causes it to stutter. I haven't been able to get it to do H.265 videos either. Uh, let's see, are we connected to the network drive? Yes, we are. So let's do another Media Center. Let's go ahead and load up Kodi, which is uh, the evolution of XBMC Media Center. Do some recorded TV programs here. Uh, let's try that one. So this is streaming from a shared network drive with 32 gigs of storage. There's not a lot of room in the um, on the device itself for local media, but. Himself. 
majority of the concrete is all exposed with an architectural finish. All this but it streams internet video uh, from YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, just fine. And uh, that was a 720p video that was recorded using a DVR in another room in my house. So media playback works pretty well as long as you sort of keep within the limitations, which is you're not gonna wanna use this with a 4K TV and 4K content, but it works okay for 1080p. Uh, let's see, what else can we show you? Um, it does some light gaming. I'm uh, not gonna go real far into that. Uh, I did install one game, but it takes a little while to load. Um, let's do some office applications. So you can use this uh, either in the living room for media center capabilities, like I said, or you can use it as a general purpose desktop. Uh, again, it's not gonna be the fastest machine that you've ever uh, seen when it comes to those things, but you can run office style applications here. So let's go ahead and open up a uh, spreadsheet. chart. So uh, you've got your office capabilities, works just fine, as long as you don't need it to be super fast. Uh, you can find benchmarks in terms of how long it takes to transcode audio and video files and other details like that at lilliputing.com. But I just wanted to show you that it can do a lot of different things and it can do some basic multitasking. It is a quad core processor. So let's go ahead and open that media player. At the same time, let's go ahead and load GIMP, uh, the image editing application, which tends to be a fairly slow loading program. So we got VLC over here. Market order you today. WLBT.org is your Again some DVR videos. And GIMP is still loading. And it says it's not responding. Uh, now that's something that I'll often see GIMP to even in, in uh, other applications or on other computers with more powerful hardware. So again, you know, you're gonna wanna sort of consider uh, what's possible with a low power system with two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of, gigs of storage, but it does run Windows 8.1. And if you wanted to, you could load Ubuntu or other uh, Linux based operating systems on the device as well. Uh, for under $200, it's uh, a couple of years ago, I would have said that's a great price for a low cost, uh, uh, sort of small, compact, fanless computer. These days, you know, you could buy a cheap Windows tablet for even less money because uh, on small Windows tablets, even ones with HDMI output that you can plug into a monitor like this, Microsoft offers Windows completely free of charge. But it um, uh, charges about $30 for a license for a box like this, which means that this costs maybe a little bit more than a tablet. At the same time, it has VGA, HDMI, three USB ports, uh, you know, some of those are things that you're not necessarily going to find on a tablet. Uh, you can also run full Windows uh, store style applications here. We've got Xbox Music. Um, so we could use this to stream music while GIMP isn't loading. Uh, GIMP does run. You can find pictures of it running at lilifuting.com. I'm going to cut this video short in a moment here instead of showing you things that it won't do and just let you know that, uh, you know, under, under different circumstances, apparently. You can use it, as we saw, for office, for web browsing, for media playback. Uh, so it's a pretty versatile little machine, a relatively inexpensive little machine. Uh, depending on your needs, you might be able to get something even cheaper that works just as well in many situations, um, but it's uh, hardly expensive, and it might be more versatile for somebody who's looking for uh, something to use either in the living room or in, in an office, a kid's room, sort of as a spare computer, might be a little bit more versatile than a dedicated media device like a Roku or an Apple TV or an Amazon Fire TV. It is a little bit more expensive than those devices and it's coming out in early 2015 at a time when uh, Intel is getting ready to introduce its next generation replacements for Baytrail, so we might start to see more powerful devices in the future. Uh, that said, it's not exactly a bad device by any stretch of the imagination. So you can find more details, benchmarks, photos, and see what it looks like under the hood, among other things, at lilliputing.com. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, looking at the Melee PCG03.